Hi friends, today we will be discussing about supermatogenesis, how sperms are formed in our body. Supermatozoa are produced in this process. It's these cells that we call as SSCs or supermatogonial stem cells which are able to differentiate into different kind of cells and from these supermatogonial stem cells we get these supermatids and ultimately we get the supermatozoa. Where is the location of this process? It occurs in male reproductive system. Initial stages occur within testes, then ultimately we have the maturation stage which occurs in the epididymis part of the reproductive system. There are three phases of supermatogenesis. First phase, what we call as multiplication phase, as we can see in this picture. Here you can see the supermatogonium undifferentiated cell differentiates into different types of cells that you can see here AD type cell, AP type cell, and then AP type cell differentiates into, into type B cell. Now we will jump towards growth phase of supermatogenesis because this multiplication phase is further going to be discussed in detail. So in the growth phase, there is a nourishment of the supermatogonium cell which grows into supermatocytes. This nourishment is given to this cell by these nerve cells, what we called as Sertoli cells. So guys, basically there only the growth takes place. There is no mitosis here. So guys, we are at the last stage of supermatogenesis. In the last stage, there is a maturation of this primary supermatocyte into supermatids and then these supermatids grows ultimately into supermatozoa by the process of supermeogenesis. Now let's discuss this supermatogenesis in detail. In case of humans, we see here this supermatogonium that is the undifferentiated supermatogonium has 2n number of chromosomes that it has got 46 chromosomes, 23 from mother, 23 from father. Now this undifferentiated supermatogonium which has got 46 number of chromosomes divides mitotically into two supermatogonium. Both are type AD supermatogonium. This AD type supermatogonium means they have got a dark nucleus here rather than the AP which has got a pale nucleus. These cells further divide mitotically into AD type and AP type supermatogonium. This AD type recycles the pool and goes back to the previous step and again recycles the supermatogonium pool while AP type of supermatogonium grows into type B cell which has the capability to grow into primary supermatocyte. Then this type B cell which has got 2n number of chromosomes that's 46 number of chromosomes in case of humans grows into primary supermatocytes which gets nourishment from Sertoli cells. So guys here the primary supermatocyte which has got 46 number of chromosomes divides into secondary supermatocyte which does not have 46 number of chromosomes instead it has got n number of chromosomes that is 23 number of chromosomes. It is the division by meiosis here because it reduces the number of chromosomes that's why we call it a reductional division. These secondary supermatocytes further divides into cells what we called as supermatids. And in these supermatids, the number of chromosomes remains the same. That's n number of chromosomes 23 because it's equational division, not the reductional division like meiosis first, but it's called meiosis second. Ultimately, these supermatids grow into supermatozoa by the process of supermeogenesis, which will be discussed in next video. Guys, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, and subscribe to my channel.